update. As you can see, we have Binance Coin here, and this was before it went up to, uh, you know, the um, uh, 1750 level of that red line that I pointed right there. That is and was its main resistance point, and it's a visual point, and you'll see that in the end of the video and so forth why that was. But this was tradable. Uh, margin wise on a new exchange called bitmax and I'm looking into them now from this and it looks to be a combination of like uh, from Binance and these uh, Chinese exchanges so it looks like they're coming together to uh, form this so it could be a, a new player in the in, in competition for bitmax you just basically uh, change the the E to an A and you got BitMEX. But uh, this was a great short on a percentage basis. As you can see, it went from the 1750s and dropped all the way down to the 15s levels. And more than likely in time, it'll go under 14. Uh, you'll see that in the video. But uh, I'll be keeping an eye on this exchange. Anyway, here we go. And let's look at the market. And I am just going over and doing an update of Bitcoin and where we are. And nothing has really changed. We have stayed pretty much sideways. Um, we have two scenarios. I'm going to show you the negative one first and whatnot we can see by these boundaries right here and right here. And this one leads us all the way down to the mid uh, 2000 range from 2800 to 2400. And uh, that would be an area that I would really like to buy in. Um, and again, that would be for above here in the 4300 range if that occurred because then we'd have a formation kind of like the butterfly um, and so forth and let me show you that and let's draw the triangle boom 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 let's also change the colors to green because it would be a positive one right all right and let's go over Draw that right up here to there, and then all the way down to there. So we see that right there. That scenario still has yet to play out. Now it's drifted sideways. The market has become elongated. There's no volume, impetus. Everybody's sitting and just, there's no activity in the marketplace. It's very lackluster, and um, there's nothing we can do about that. We just have to wait. So that's one scenario right there. That's the bearish case. And that still fits within this area. Uh, unless it was to really just keep going sideways, 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 and really elongate for um, the weeks to come, which we do not want to see it doing, uh, then it would just, uh, you know. But I won't even get into that scenario. Now our second scenario, because Bitcoin has always been very volatile, so we're not going to predict the end of its volatility. Um, the second scenario is more along this line right here. And let's take a look at that. We'll have to go more inside. And we'll do that by going to the daily. And the daily, I'm going to take away these. Hello. All right. Now we're going to see the move that we've had here. And got the big drop down. So let's do that. Let's draw that down. Do, do, do. You know what? Let's make this a solid line so you can see it better. Even that is not very clear, is it? But nonetheless, so we see that right there. Draw another line up to here. Draw another line down to the low, I made down to here. Draw another line up to here. And then we draw our last line all the way down up to over here. Now again, this elongated, this is turned into an elongated type of uh, pattern, but it still is an inverse head and shoulders and we have to respect that and whatnot, unless it gets invalidated, of which it would have to break the 3500 range. And then we would get the second scenario that goes down here and whatnot. But we can see 
you know, the basis of this. Let's turn that to yellow. And, and now we can change that back to here. We'll draw one more from the tops. Boom. So you can see that right there. Now, if you look at that and you really study that for a minute, you can see, you know, your points of interest and so forth. You've got your left shoulder over here, your head, and your right shoulder over here. And then you just draw the lines from the top set and go out from here. And you can see how it follows along. You can see Lowe's being, uh, you know, uh, it acting as support and, until it finally breaks out upwards and whatnot. And uh, you can see the tops acting as resistance. It meandered all along it over here and then made its next move upwards to resistance there. And uh, it's all very logical and makes perfect sense, right? So that's where we are in the marketplace. So we get those two scenarios of which we've got support down here in the, the mid uh, to upper 2000 range and resistance from the uh, upper uh, and to low 5000. So upper 4000, low 5000. Um, so that's where we're stuck at at the moment. Things have become elongated. That's telling us there's no real interest by people to trade or to do anything. They're all uh, sitting and, and drooling or sleeping or something. And that's the general marketplace. And uh, when you have that lack of activity, you're not going to get many trades. And this is a dangerous spot for traders who get force it. And what happens to them is they get chopped up. And uh, they have their stops hit in very small ranges. Uh, because of the fact that there's nothing really there to trade. Um, so that's the update for you. You see the two scenarios. If we get the breakout from here. Um, this is the inverse head and shoulders. Breakout target would be up there. And one thing here, I'll even draw that just to make it look pretty. And whatnot. And that's a measured move. It's calculated already ahead of time. And it would be logical for us to do that type of move. Unfortunately, the price action is just absolutely horrible. And there's no real motivation either way. Uh, the odds are still to the upside. Um, but, uh, uh, you know, I, I, they're, they're shrinking as the days go on because of the sideways movement. So uh, let's see if we get the move down here, move back up there, and dance around and decide if we're going to break out or break down. And that's where we are. It's really a, it's kind of dangerous. And uh, you want to take a sit back and wait and see type of approach for something to develop. Because right now all you're going to do is get chopped up if you uh, try to fight this market. And uh, if you're using any leverage, um, you know, uh, I'll pray for you. Uh, because I, I've seen nothing but traders getting, you know, small stops here and there repetitively. Every time they try to force it, they get smoked by the marketplace. Um, other than that, you know, the only trade that I saw in the market that I really liked and whatnot was uh, the short on that BNB coin. And as you've seen right here, I showed you the geometry and a perfect formation. Unfortunately, this is not a margin pair that's available on uh, that BitMax, uh, the new broker. Uh, uh, they have a few pairs, but this is not one of them. Um, so this is mostly just purely uh, educational, I guess you can see. But you can see where I originally stated the other day when I saw it hit that level right at the um, uh, 1750. That was a perfect short. And if we go back in there besides the formation, you can see the resistance point high over here before the previous decline that it had. So this would be supply. And uh, very easy to see. Um, too bad that we couldn't short that. That was the best trade in the marketplace right there. On a percentage basis, we would have done very well. <laughs> but anyway, um, good technical formation. Good for you to pay attention to. You can see the points on it and the, the, the resistance as well as the formation and the ratios 
declining volume. Um, the pump that they did very quickly, um, when they do that, it's almost, you know, it's like a, it's a magnet to me. I, I see them doing that, and I, I know what, what's really going on there. Um, but anyway, uh, what you would look for is just to go back under that 1380s from above the 1750 mark. And I hope you enjoyed that. That's the only interesting thing in the market in this sad sideways wait and see market that we're in. Uh, other than that, that's the update for you. Uh, and we'll just keep waiting and uh, uh, let the market give us something finally, hopefully in the near future. Alrighty, talk to you soon.